be this voice conversion or uh, to voice conversion and uh, this carry forward this voice across multiple languages. And there are certain cases like uh, the the speaker speaks in multiple languages in one sentence. So in one sentence, the speaker uses uh, words from multiple languages, like the Hindi speaker may use some English words in between. So in that case, that's the uh, problem of this code, code switch uh, text to uh, speech conversion task. And the problem with uh, What's the uh, another challenge which there is like there is no recordings or the corpus which are like one speaker speaking in uh, two different languages in that you have to find a person who is proficient in both the languages and create or record these uh, sentences, the speech sentences, spoken sentences. And there is also like between languages in one language, there may not be certain phonemes or sounds which are there in the other language. So you, we have to uh, deal with us, this bilingual uh, phoneme, phonetic coverage problem. And now there is this uh, paper from uh, Alibaba group, uh, 2020 paper, in which they have uh, uh, proposed uh, techniques which make use of existing uh, speech synthesis techniques like mixing and matching and uh, connecting together multiple uh, speech uh, synthesis methods and create this uh, voice conversion as well as this bilingual uh, uh, text to speech conversion task. And uh, what are the different attributes of this thing, uh, characteristics of this particular method is like this is bilingual uh, and deals with code switch TTS and like it deals with uh, Mandarin as well as English and the inputs to the system are Mandarin speakers, uh, Mandarin sentences and the English speakers, English sentences, recorded sentences. And from that uh, they generate a cross lingual corpus like the, they uh, convert the Mandarin speakers, Mandarin sentences uh, uh, to English speakers, Mandarin sentences and vice versa. And they get a kind of a bilingual data. And from uh, that they train their system as well as they do some kind of uh, data augmentation by adding some translated words to this corpus and uh, generating the speech for those particular words. That's a, a Oh, uh, problem uh, uh, data augmentation techniques in which this code switch uh, code switch utterances are also added, and they make use of uh, the existing uh, speech synthesis methods like Tacotron, Tacotron by Google, and the transformer based models and fast speech, fast speeches by Microsoft, and they uh, connect these things and uh, make this one single system possible. Let's see how they do it, and. Uh, in this paper, there are two things discussed. One is like this voice conversion and also the uh, text-to-speech uh, generation technique. And the first one is about building the bilingual corpora with Tacotron. Like the input to the system is like this monolingual corpora, either uh, sentences spoken by a Mandarin speaker or sentences spoken by the English speaker. And there are three distinct steps. Uh, one is like they feed these sentences uh, and extract certain features, which are called this PPG, the phonetic posterior gram features. Those are like per uh, time win per time window of uh, uh, the speech signal, there will be 488 uh, numbers being generated. This represents that that particular. Uh, that particular, uh, uh, the speech signals content part alone, like the, the it won't deal with the, the it, these features are kind of language independent as well as the speaker independent features. And this EPG features are then uh, converted to LPC net features by adding the uh, part of this other speaker, larger speakers voice related features. So these LPC net features are features which 
captures the uh, the voice quality of the speaker as well. So uh, in this step, the step two, this conversion of this uh, speaker independent features to uh, speaker dependent, target speaker dependent feature ha happens. And then there is this vocoder part, which converts these features to uh, speech signals. So you can see like uh, for the first step, they have used PyTorch Caldi. This is an open source tool. And uh, the, uh, for the second part, they have used Tacotron implementation. That's also an open source one. And uh, for the third part, Mozilla's LPC net implementation. And uh, this is the system architecture, our system architecture. You can see like source uh, speech from that. Uh, two things are extracted, which one is the uh, MFCC, which is a, uh, a vector of numbers. Like these are the features representing some time duration of, like what they do is like they chop this speech signal into uh, time windows. And for each window, there will be these features extracted like MFCC and uh, um, the, the base frequency or the fundamental frequency of that particular window. And the MFCCs are uh, used to extract this PPG features, which are kind of uh, speaker and language independent thing. And uh, by using the target speakers, uh, this fundamental frequency and the PPG from the uh, source speaker, you uh, generate this target speech. And this uh, mark portion is uh, shown here in detail. And you see like uh, this log of zero and PPG fed and uh, the system predicts the LPC net features and the stop token when, whenever the sentence ends. And the second part of the problem is like uh, the Corpus is bilingual corpus is generated, corpus is generated like um, you, you can convert the voice of one person. Uh, the, uh, the thing spoken by one person can be converted to, into a voice of other person. And now how do we train the uh, TTS using this corpora? And for TTS, the input representations, uh, there are two possible options available. Like you uh, can use the characters as well as the phonetic representation, like the, uh, the uh, phoneme symbols, like what are the uh, distinct uh, sounds in the uh, spoken sentence. And for the English, there are 44 uh, British English phoneme symbols, plus the uh, three possible stress symbols, like the primary stress, secondary stress, and unstressed. And for the Mandarin, uh, they use pinyin uh, representation. Pinyin is uh, representing Chinese using some English uh, letters. And then there are five possible tonal variations like rising tone, uh, uh, decreasing the tone, and steady tone, like that. And uh, then uh, for training the TTS models, they use already existing TTS uh, engines like Tacotron 2 or transformer based models or uh, fast speech. And let's see what's the data set like. And the corpora they used are like monolingual corpora for both English and Mandarin. And those are uh, professional speech recordings and English uh, corpus is uh, from uh, a female native British English speaker with uh, 27,000 utterances and 41 hours of speech. And for the Mandarin, uh, female native Mandarin speaker, 32,000 utterances and for 30 hours of speech. And they have validation set and testing set of 250 utterances each. And uh, the sampling frequency was 16 kilohertz and resolution used uh, 16 bit. And for the code switch uh, uh, text corpus, they have translated certain words and added into this uh, augmented the existing uh, speech. And they have uh, that for 16 hours. Of, uh, and for evaluating this, uh, there is no there is no uh, efficient objective evaluation technique. So this is kind of a subjective techniques the, where the human raters uh, around ten human raters rate uh, with scores from one to five. Uh, one is bad and five is excellent, and 
there will be 0 0.5 point increments like the, yeah between and you can see like there are three tables here first table is for uh, just the raters are given just the ground truth like the uh, mandarin speech and the uh, english speech which are like not the synthesized one but the uh, actual recorded ones and you can see like they have rated uh, with a, a mean score of mean uh, opinion score of uh, around three point something and four point something like that like uh, uh, for the naturalness and similarity you can see like what are the scores they have given and then for the uh, synthesized speech here you can see like what uh, the first row here is the ground truth uh, rating and for the tachotron and transformer and fast speech like what all different ratings have been like you can see like these are somewhat close to five like the uh, people are uh, finding the synthesized speech as natural as the um, actual recordings and uh, now we can see like what what exactly that uh, the outputs looks like uh, I think it could be something to do with the I think it could be something to do with the soil and the climate. Uh, so is it audible? Yeah. Yes, yes. yeah. So these are the professional recordings. First one was professional recording uh, for the English and the Mandarin speech. 五千年传统文化信手拈来，被涂脂抹粉，细血调侃。And now see like, uh, so this is the source speaker. 五千年传统文化. Mandarin source speaker and the Tajik speaker. We are very concerned that it will not happen, and we will be engaged. And you will see. 五千年传统文化信手拈来，被涂脂抹粉，细谢调侃。So the target speaker's voice being used and the content from the source speaker is used. And same for uh, the English one. Hazel would like to sell the business. 他说他会将车收藏一辈子，以后. Hazel would like to sell the business. So here uh, for the, on the uh, TTS for all. A microscopic water creature could live until the end of the earth. A microscopic water creature could. And a microscopic water creature could live until the end of the earth. A microscopic water. A microscopic water creature could. And these are the. Uh, uh, TTS synthesized. A microscopic water creature could live until the end of the earth. So you can go to this page and see like, uh, play and see like what all different things are there. And now, uh, any questions? So, uh, I mean, uh, questions about uh, the hardware dependency. Uh, how much of that affects uh, the the output or the quality of uh, detection or conversion? Uh, hardware dependency. If you look at like the four uh, training data um, uh, collection, these are professional recordings. Then you may need uh, a good recording setup with good mic and uh, noise-free environment. And uh, for training, you may need a good GPU computation uh, platform uh, where uh, these uh, training, these uh, uh, transfer or tachotron or fast speech are kind of like uh, heavily uh, resource intensive, computational resource intensive process, and you need a good um, GPU for that. And for the conversion also to happen uh, in a fast enough way, then 
for the inference to happen fast enough, you need a, uh, a GPU system. Right. So uh, also on the application side, uh, so much as you see that as uh, so, uh, you know, this is going to influence the movie industry or entertainment mm -hmm. industry, which which I believe uh, a lot can change with all the you know uh, CGI mm -hmm. thing coming in. Uh, the natural interface for humans is speech. Like we are, uh, like we don't have to train to type on a computer system, or we don't have to train to use a mouse or something. The speech is the natural interface for humans for human human interaction. Then I think, like in future, like this speech interface going to come across all the devices. Like if there is a fridge which cannot talk to you, like then it's obsolete in future, and uh, um, and in the like the movies like dubbing like something like, happens like one movie is being built in uh, another language and you want to have that uh, voice part to be dubbed in another other language like there are a lot of uh, cartoons and all where you see like they find a voice close enough to the actual speaker and then uh, do the uh, dubbing like it's kind of a like a difficult task like here using this kind of system you can uh, without any human intervention you can convert that speech to another language and for the marketing and all like you may need to generate very specific uh, language and the uh, personalized messages for each of the uh, people you are targeting, then you can use such systems which can auto generate these uh, voices and uh, spoken uh, sentences. And apart from yeah. uh, activities, if you want to, uh, I mean, uh, you want to uh, create. Someone else's sentences in someone else's language and use it for malicious. It can also be used there. Sure, we're going to try something at office for sure. <laughs> all right, thank you so much, uh, Subhash. Okay, thank you all for your time. Have a great day. Bye.